This problem gives us a sphere of mass m and charge q and asks us to find the potential difference delta v between these two charged plates. We'll do this in three steps. First we'll find the electric force that must be acting on the charged sphere. From that we'll find the electric field E. and From the electric field we'll find the potential difference delta v. Let's look first at a free body diagram for the hanging sphere. Three forces act on it. The weight is straight down. The tension T acts along the direction of the thread. And the electric force is directed to the right in the same direction as the electric field, which goes from the positive plate to the negative plate. When we apply Newton's second law, summing forces in the x and y directions, we can first zero out the accelerations because the sphere is held in equilibrium. In the y direction, then we find that t cosine theta minus the weight equals zero, which gives us this expression for the tension. If we sum forces in the horizontal or x direction, we can substitute this expression for the tension to find that the electric force equals the weight mg times the tangent of the angle theta. We also know that the electric force equals Q times the electric field, so we can set these two equal and solve for an expression for the electric field E. Finding that it equals the weight times tangent theta over the charge Q. And this electric field is in the horizontal or x direction from the positive to the negative plate. We know from Gauss's law that the magnitude of the electric field between the two plates is constant and it equals sigma over epsilon naught, so we can find the potential delta V by integrating the electric field from the left plate to the right plate. The electric field magnitude is constant, so this just gives us the magnitude of E times the distance d between the two plates. When you substitute the values were given in the problem statement and calculate, you find that delta v equals 47.7 volts.